it. Um, let's bring in uh, back in Gary Benson, who's got this this book, The Twelve Absolutes of Leadership. Uh, Gary, so look, when you're looking for a new CEO right now in this climate, somebody like Yahoo, what would you advise them? What do you what do you what qualities do you need? Uh, the number one is cultural dexterity. Uh, that comes screaming off the page. Well, to explain what you mean by that. Well, the world's population is seven billion, and two countries represent almost fifty percent. Two thirds of the world's middle class is going to be in Asia in twenty years. So, as you look out, America is not in the center of the map, um, and you have to tap that consumerism. And today, CEOs are borderless. So you need somebody who can motivate, manage a workforce across these artificial lines on maps called uh, borders. That is absolutely number one, first and foremost. Um, clearly, you know, people that they are going to have a vision and they can mm. innovate, that's up there too. But cultural dexterity is and the ability to deal with jet lag. It sounds like it's a <laughs> is a is a key element of that position. The ability to meet people where they are and move them to where you want to be. That's critical. That, that's what's wrong with this entire debate, is that nobody is facing reality. You know, that this mask of uncertainty is becoming reality. No, no one's, I, 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 we talked about this, I, I don't see any more than painting a vision that's and a, saying, what do we want? This is what I think we want. How do we get there? That's exactly right. I, that's what you would do as a leader, right? You would say, this is the horizon. Mm. This is the common purpose. Guys, this is the 10-year plan. You know, here's what we're going to have to do to get, nowhere is that happening. Well, China, that's happening. Gary, we're going to have more with you in just a little bit. But still